2025 and I just pulled out a very few interesting ones. So for example, the man-machine dichotomy blurs. I know that some of us may be a little bit scared because our jobs may be supplanted by machines starting this year, but actually um, human, uh, human intervention or human um, assistance or human knowledge is very needed for machine learning and data science. And um, with the way he says this, blurs, it's now starting to be, um, we instead of becoming scared of the new machine intelligence, we just start to assimilate with it. So gamers have their assimilation. So cognitive technologies gathered more than 1 billion in venture capital funding in 2014 and 2015. 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. It is expected to be 60 billion by 2025. If you're wondering what cognitive um, technology is, it's a bit of a marketing term to just lump together things like Siri, things like Google Maps and Waze, things like um, these automated decision-making machines. Um, okay, next one, our very own industry, cybersecurity. A good defense isn't enough. So IDC, um, it's a for, uh, it's a it's a company in the U.S. estimates that the worldwide financial services industry would spend 27 billion in information security and fraud prevention. The way he frames this is that defense is not good enough just to react to all these threats. It's not good enough anymore. Now we have a lot of systems that can smartly or proactively detect these threats in real time. So, um, not just invest to not just invest in defense, but actually to discover threats. Threats pa lang sila. Discover threats and possibly go on the offensive. So this is the trends in cybersecurity and data analytics and data science could help a lot in that. Lastly, the Internet of Things and people too. So um, what's important about the Internet of Things is that it's made up of people. And people, as we know, are really, really complex beings. Fortunately, we have a lot of data science tools to help us to model, to some extent, to some extent people. So IDC estimates that the worldwide IoT market will grow from 655 billion to a trillion number in 2020. So this just means that modeling and capturing the behavior of all these people and all these, all these things is paramount to our success in the industry. Lastly, companies bridge the talent gap. This is the reason why we're here. Um, there's a lot of um, academe, um, academias out there that's offering data science courses or data science focused courses however the turnout or the rate that they're turning out graduates it's not enough to fill the data science need so that's why we're here we have companies that bridge this talent gap IDC predicts a need for 181,000 people with deep analytical skills and a requirement for five times that number for positions with data management and interpretation capabilities this just means that there will be a million people just in the U.S. that will require data.